But what's good, everybody? Welcome into the Early Edge in 5. More storylines, more best bets for tonight in sports. And I got to tell you, today we have no time to waste because I'm going, count them, four wide today. So let's bring in the stars of the show. And look who's back. He was sick, but we picked him up, and he's right back in it today. Prop stars, welcome back. Johnny B is here. And look, a rare appearance on Early Edge in 5 from the Ice Queen herself, Alabama. Let's jump right in. Prop stars, I'm coming to you. Because the NBA, all kinds of stories. Donovan Mitchell, he says, I want out of Utah. But where is he going? Start us off. Coach, it's great to be back. Yeah, the Knicks appear to be the front runner to land Donovan Mitchell after the Jazz were reportedly adamant throughout the beginning of the offseason that they were unwilling to trade the star guard. It appears that they are more willing now to move Mitchell, and the New York Knicks have emerged as the front runner to acquire his services. Brian Windhorst just reported because of Suns center DeAndre Ayton matching or having the Suns match his offer sheet. Uh, he can no longer be traded until after January 1st. That puts the Knicks even further into the driver's seat to land Mitchell. The Knicks have remained adamant that they won't include R.J. Barrett, but even in potential trade offers, a backcourt of Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell sure looks good for Knicks fans, Coach. You're damn right. It looks like a playoff team, or at least the basis for a playoff team, so we'll keep our eye on that. Thank you very much, Prop Stars. Now, let's come over to you, Allie, because the Pirates and the Rockies, they've got some trends going. What are they? Yep, so the Pirates, they've covered the run line um, mostly as an underdog, plus one and a half um, in their last seven road games. And the Rockies, they've also covered the run line in um, their last six home games, so I think it's going to be interesting tonight. One of those obviously has to end, so it's interesting to see. Yes, it is. Very, very interesting. Sometimes in sports betting, you say, we got to stop at some point. Well, I'd rather win six and lose one and keep riding that trade. Now, Johnny, what's the bullpen report today? Yeah, Eloy Jimenez was out of the lineup yesterday. He really can't stay healthy lately. Jose Altuve left early yesterday as well, but Jeremy Pena was back in for the Astros. And Mike Trout is is expected to be back in the lineup tonight for the Angels. All right, very good. Love the bullpen report every day. That's not always about the bullpen. All right, now let's get into our board for the day. And yesterday, Alex, uh, Maestro did a pretty good job of giving us a K-prop, but that's really your thing. Start us off. Yep, Coach. Let's go Jermon Marquez over four and a half strikeouts. He's eclipsed this line in 11 of 17 starts this season. Gets a fantastic matchup against those Pirates that Allie mentioned. They average the third most strikeouts per game. The second highest K rate versus opposing right-handed pitchers. I've been targeting the Pirates all year for strikeouts. It's been one of my most profitable betting angles. My model has Marquez projected at 5.83 strikeouts. Take his over four and a half Ks. And I would suggest you do it now before you lose the win advantage at five and it becomes a push advantage. So get it in right now. All right, Allie, you're up. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Marlins first five minus 110. Kyle Gibson, he's really been terrible. Um, first five innings, especially he's 5'11 and one. And he also did not do very well against the Phillies in Miami or, um, against Miami. Um, earlier this season he gave up 400 runs in 4.2 innings and then um, you also have his last start he did do pretty well but that was at home so I think he's going to do a little bit worse today and then you have Sandy Alcantara and he's pretty much gone seven innings and 12 straight starts and he has a 1.59 ERA at home so I think that Phillies are going to continue that losing streak but I'll rely on the first five great way to take the bullpen out of the mix bet the first five lay that half Alcantara has been terrific thank you very much Johnny give me two plays yeah, first one going to go with Rockies, minus 140 versus the Pirates. Jose Quintana has been very good this season, but he's a lefty and he doesn't get deep into games. The Rockies are the second best team against lefties and weighted on base average in the past 30 days. And the Pirates bullpen is very worked after multiple X training games in Miami. Second player, we're going to go Orioles, America's team, plus 110 versus the Rays. The Orioles have won four of the last six games against the Rays. Before that, they had they had lost 27 of 30 games. Luis Patino is coming off the IL. Tyler Wells has been the Orioles' best starter. And the Orioles had uh, had an off day yesterday, so their bullpen's rested. I like the Orioles here. Oh, really? Real, uh, very, very quickly. Uh, AB, can you show your face? Very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, Yo, do, do we have any music on your board right there? Just uh, like a, just uh, maybe a random a random uh, song that you might be able <laughs> Yeah, you know, we try to find some. This time, big boy, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Tonight's not the night for the Orioles, big boy. Anna likes him. Carol likes him. Max likes him. You like him. Not this big boy. Are you in or are you out? 
Hey, Coach, if you want to fade America's team, that's up to you. I'm on the Orioles tonight. <laughs> that's fine. I like cash. And we all know, we all know, huh, Alex, who the showdown king is. Who's the show? Other than Mikey. Who's showdown the show? daddy. Showdown daddy. That's your showdown new name, Coach. Daddy. We'll say Mike is also on this, who's been very hot as well. You're going that against makes, everyone that tonight, that Coach. Nothing new. <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel even better. I'll go against the world. <laughs> By the way, I was looking at my record. I think it's 43-15-1, but I'm not sure. One last pick before we get out of here. Red Sox-Yankees over eight tonight for me. I was 4-1 and one against yesterday. I've just been cashing ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket. I'm going to cash tonight, and I'm going to take Bowman's money all in one fell swoop. So there's only one thing left to do, and I believe you all know what that is. You got your marching orders. Man, isn't it good to have prop stars back? Let's take all these tickets straight to the pay window. My entire crew, love them all. Great to have Allie here today. Prop stars, JB, even though he's going to lose money to work, it happens. And of course, AB on the ones and the twos. I am the coach. We're here in the morning at 10 a.m. Here every single weekday at 4 p.m. because we grind and we grind for you. Good luck. This is the early edge of sometimes. We do it in five. Good luck. The PGA Tour season now in full swing. The First Cup Podcast is your source for in-depth analysis every single week. The PGA Tour tees it up. We're in your feed with fantasy golf analysis, best bets, and round-by-round recaps. Our crew of experts is here to help you make some green while watching the world's best on the greens. Go inside the ropes on the First Cut Golf Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube.